If you thought the weather was bad now, wait until the turn of the century. Australian National University climate scientist Dr Sophie Lewis has released a new report projecting daily temperatures will rise significantly for Australia's biggest cities by the year 2100. We have to be thinking now about how we can be prepared for large population groups commuting to and from the CBD on these extremely hot days, how we send young children to school on 50 C days, how our hospitals are prepared for a larger number of admissions of young or old people, and how our infrastructure can cope with it. We've already seen an increase in excess heat deaths in heat waves in 2009, due to those extreme heat waves, and that's likely to occur even more under these 50 C days. Speaking to ABC News, Sydney Deputy Lord Mayor Jess Miller said the temperature rises would cost lives. We know that more people die from heat-related incidents than they do from bushfires each year. I think we're heading into a really scary health risk. When you've got grey infrastructure and roads and buildings absorbing all that heat, not only does it get much hotter, but it takes twice to three times as long to cool down. Public transport melts, literally, on really hot days. When you have a bunch of days one by one, it stops the whole system. Um, not good. Enough words, relax your eyeballs with this video.